So if you follow the Need for Speed guys on Twitter, you may have seen a very, very interesting tweet that they just posted over on their Twitter page showcasing this GIF, 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 so something, this really, really cool thing. Incredible for a number of reasons. One, manual question mark? Two, boost gates question mark? Oh, very excited! So they went and posted this tweet this morning and said, not subscribe to our YouTube channel? We've got something to show you tomorrow. So here's what I think this means. Need for Speed has done a very, very good job of putting in people's requests that people have wanted since the beginning of the game. You've seen that with things like the photo mode. When we went down to the EA offices back in October, one of the things that we said that we wanted was a photo mode just because it's really cool and this game has so many cool parts and people wanted to see photo mode. Anyways, they added that last month, or actually this month. Um, they, people wanted more parts for their cards. They were like, okay, the, the customization is good, but it could be even better. They added more parts in. People were like, I've beaten the game. I have nothing left to do. So they went in and put more missions in. That was Eddie's challenge. So on and so on. They've been really good about fulfilling people's requests. One of the things that they haven't actually fulfilled yet is a manual transmission. People have been asking for manual since before the game has even come out, so it would make a lot of sense for them to finally fulfill that request, finally toss in manual in the game, and I definitely think it's at least on the way. Shifting to Need for Speed would be very, very nice. I remember back when the game first came out, people on Reddit absolutely complaining, saying, why is my car in this gear when it should be in this gear? People are just flying, flying past. So for racing, you're in the wrong gear while racing some of the time, and usually 99% of the time, you're in the wrong gear for drifting. Manual transmission would sort of add an element to the game. Um, uh, you'd, you'd be able to control your car a little bit more, which would be very, very nice. So if manual transmission was to come to Need for Speed, well, how would it be implemented? Because Need for Speed's a very, very arcadey game. Would you be able to shift with a clutch? I'm not really sure, I don't know. To be honest, I hope that the option would at least be there to be able to shift with a clutch and use the bumper, similar to the way Forza does it. Please make it nothing like the crew, that would be fantastic. Speaking of like the controls and stuff, how would you actually shift? I really hope it's not like the crew where you have to push up and down. Really hope it's not like that, really hope it's very similar to Forza and B is shift up, X is shift down, and left bumper is clutch. Something like that would be, would be absolutely ideal. So do I think manual's on the way? Most definitely. They posted this saying, check out our Twitter page or our YouTube page tomorrow. I'm very excited to see what comes with that. Also, keep in mind, there's no reason to change the HUD and add both a boost gauge and a little gear number on, under your speed to know what gear you're in. You wouldn't be able to control it anyway, so I think manual is definitely on the way. So anyways, let's actually talk about that boost gauge for a little bit. If you don't know what a boost gauge is, you can basically add a boost gauge to turbocharged and supercharged cars. For the most part, usually, Higher RPM means more boost, unless you're running about 12 turbos and fancy setups and things. Usually, for the most part, higher RPM means more boost. Now, I don't know because, like I said, Need for Speed is a usually, for the most part, quite arcadey, so I don't know if it's going to be a real boost gauge and actually 100% tell you what your actual boost is, or if it's going to be like GTA 5 with fake boost gauges that sort of just depend on your RPM for the most part. Anyways, so like I said, I am very, very certain that manual transmission, if, if it's not gonna be announced tomorrow, they will do something tomorrow on their YouTube channel, which I'm very interested to see. Like I said, they have no reason to change the HUD and add this stuff if manual transmission is not on the way, so I am 99% sure that manual transmission is gonna be coming to Need for Speed. If not tomorrow, hopefully very, very soon. When we do hear what this actually concludes to be tomorrow, I will make sure to upload a video for you guys tomorrow, and also Alan will probably do an article for that as well. Anyways guys, if you're excited, click that subscribe button for more videos like this in your subscription box. I'll make sure to update you guys tomorrow with more. See you guys in the next one. People on the track. So we'll see what happens. There has been a lot of bumping in other races off the very beginning, but this one seems pretty clean. I am, however, expecting a hell 